Hi, my name is Nathaniel. I just am um, going to make a video on an M17 uh, decontamination unit that I just picked up on Monday. Um, I was a little surprised. I couldn't really find any information on YouTube or any other websites really um, about the M17 unit. So I just kind of wanted to um, make a video maybe can help save you from some frustration. Um of disappointment or maybe even damage so uh, just bear with me I know the lighting's kind of bad because I'm sitting in my car uh, and I'm not an experienced YouTube video maker and I do have a cold so um, bear with me um, yes I will get out of the car and show you the piece of the equipment um, right now I just want to kind of overview some things um, the model I have is the M17A3, which is uh, the same as the M17A2. It just has a different size collapsible tank that it originally came with. Um, excuse me. Um, the M17 and the M17A1 A are pretty much the same with a smaller engine. Um, some things to be aware of if you're going to buy one of these units um, I would highly recommend you get one that comes with the accessory kit if you don't have the accessory kit and it has all the wands and hoses and couplings and stuff you need um, you're going to end up spending a lot of time and money trying to make the right adapters and everything uh, for that um, the one I bought came just like it was still packaged uh, to, for the military. It had uh, two fuel tanks. I uh, had the accessory kit with all the hoses and wands. It had the collapsible 3,000-gallon uh, tank still in the crate. It had a separate, altogether separate 65-gallon-per-minute diesel water pump to fill the tank with. And it had a rain cover. And I had the instruction manual, which brings me to my second point, which is you're going to want the instruction manual for this. Uh, I know a lot of the military equipment is kind of self-explanatory um, and easy to operate. I don't find that that's the case at all with this thing. Um, you have... Uh, it's just got a lot of kind of quirky little things that you need to know about. Um and also for safety, you're dealing with, uh, I believe, a 700,000 BTU per hour heater that's fired by gasoline. Um, so you you want to be familiar with the safety uh, necessities for it. I know a couple places in the manual, you know, if you do something wrong, uh, boom, it catches on fire. Um, and I'm not talking about something stupid like you accidentally spilled gasoline all over it and then smoked a cigarette. It's like... You know, if you uh, trigger the wands three times or over three times without burner ignition, it could catch on fire. So get a manual if you don't have one. Familiarize yourself with it um, before you even start uh, with this piece of equipment. Um, and the other thing to be aware of is if you you might want to stay away from one that looks like it's been sitting outside. Um, they're not designed to sit outside unless they have the rain cover over them or some type of a covering over them. Um, if they're sitting outside with no cover, it's possible for rainwater to work its way down into the motor. Um, in other places, it's not supposed to be. So unless you're buying one just for parts, uh, stay away from it if it looks like it's sitting outside. Okay, so what I want to go over kind of first is what it is. It was designed to spray a decontamination solution onto a vehicle or a piece of equipment or whatever and then it was designed to basically rinse it off with a nice hot pressurized water source um, it also has a mode that it will run um, decontamination showers for people um, who need to decontaminate their suits or whatever they're wearing Okay, so that's what it was designed to do for the military. It obviously must have done this fairly well because, it, according to my research, from what I could tell, they kept the same design for nearly 20 years or more, I think. Um, okay, so what it is not. It is not a pressure washer. 
Okay, it only a pressure washer that size would operate of over 3,000, at least 3,000 psi. This thing only generates between I think it's 110 and 130 psi. It is not a pressure washer. You could categorize it as a steam cleaner, and how a steam cleaner works is it. Um, works between with usually between 100 and 200 psi of water pressure it heats the water clear up to as hot as 325 degrees and then when the water sprays out of the jet on your wand a percentage of that water turns into steam vapor when it hits the air and it causes the rest of the water to be um, expelled faster and it usually has a special nozzle to help help that whole process along and give you your cleaning power. Unfortunately, this machine does not have the special nozzles. It's just like looks kind of like a regular pressure washer nozzle. And it also only heats the water from between 212 degrees to 250 degrees. So it's a good deal. It's not a really a powerful hot water steam um steam cleaner basically um, that could compete with the commercially available models um, and I'm not going to attempt with a gasoline fired burner to modify it to get an extra 75 degrees out of it that doesn't <clears throat> you know you could play around with it if you want to but I'm not going to I'm not going to bother with it um, so that basically it, it's not a pressure washer it's not really a true steam cleaner uh, even though that's basically what it would be considered a steam cleaner um, so if you expect it if you buy one expecting it to do either one of those functions um, you may be disappointed so I'm gonna go ahead now and get out of the vehicle and kinda show you um, around the unit and give you an overview of it and go from there